Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to talk about five things to know before you install a smart light switch or before you buy a smart light switch. So smart light switches are Wi-Fi or Z-Wave or Zigbee connected light switches that allow you to remotely control them from your phone or with a voice assistant. It's great having smart lighting if you want to be able to control your lighting while you're away from your home or even in your home. I find myself a lot of times at the end of a long day just telling Alexa to turn on or off my lighting, which is great when you're laying in bed and are feeling a little bit lazy, but there are tons more applications than that. However, before you go outfitting your home with smart lighting, there are a few things that you should know and we're going to cover them. I've installed hundreds of these smart light switches and have learned a lot over the years in terms of what works and what doesn't work. And these are just the tips that I thought you should know if you are trying to select a smart light switch for your home before you go out and buy 30 of these things. So the number one thing that I want to talk about is neutral versus non-neutral smart light switches. We're going to include a whole bunch of resources below on how to identify if you have a neutral wire or don't have a neutral wire and what that means for which smart light switches you can use. But a neutral wire is essentially a white wire in your junction box that allows current to return back to your electrical panel. Now, some smart light switches require that you have a neutral wire in order to power the light switch and the Wi-Fi connection while the lights are off. There are other smart light switches that don't require this neutral wire. Now, the problem is, is that not every home has a neutral wire. Most homes built after the 1980s or 1985 are going to have a neutral wire in the junction box or the switch box where you're installing your smart light switch. Some older homes will have a neutral wire. It really just depends on your home and how it was wired. Some will have them, some won't. If you have a neutral wire, there are certain light switches you can use. Well, pretty much any smart light switch you can use if you have a neutral wire. If you don't have a neutral wire, your options are more limited, but those limited options are still really great smart light switches that are going to work in your home. So uh, what I've got here is a Lutron Cassetta smart light switch. This will work without a neutral wire. You can see on the back that it only has two wires, a hot and a load wire, and the other wire is a ground wire. Now, this Leviton smart light switch has a lot more wires on the back of it. As you can see, it has a black wire for hot. Here, it has a neutral wire and does require a neutral wire. This white wire here, it has this red wire, the load wire, and then it also has this extra wire for three-way compatibility or a traveler wire for the three-way switching and the ground wire here. Both of these light switches will work in three-way configurations. However, this one does not require a neutral wire, the Lutron Cassetta, and this Leviton smart light switch does require a neutral wire. These other light switches that I have here and some of the other ones on the table will also require a neutral wire where this Lutron Cassetta one does not. Now, if you have the neutral wire, no fret, you can put in whatever you want. If you don't, you're going to need to go with that Lutron or maybe one of the other two brands that does not require a neutral wire. Now, there is one small drawback to light switches that don't require a neutral wire. The majority of light switches that don't require a neutral wire do require a home hub or a smart home hub. So this Lutron Cassetta one does require a small hub that you need to plug in next to your Wi-Fi router in order to communicate with those light switches. Whereas many of the light switches that do require a neutral wire don't require any kind of a hub. They just connect right to your Wi-Fi system and you don't have to worry about any kind of hub. So that is the drawback with neutral versus not neutral light switches. And click on any of the links below if you want to learn how to identify if your light switches or junction boxes have a neutral wire in them. I'd recommend you do this before you choose what type of smart light switch you want and it's going to let you determine what can work with your home and what won't work with your home. The second thing that you should consider before getting a smart light switch is if it has three-way compatibility. Three-way light switches are typically found at stairways 
where you're gonna have two light switches that control the same light fixture or group of light fixture. Not every smart light switch in your home needs to be three-way compatible, but in those locations where you have two light switches that control one fixture or a series of fixture, you're going to need a three-way compatible smart light switch. So that's something that you need to take into consideration and look for on the smart light switch before you purchase it. So we'll include links to smart light switches that are three-way compatible below. Go ahead and take a look at those. But the majority of large manufacturers and brands of smart light switches do have at least one style of light switch or smart light switch that will be three-way compatible. You just need to make sure that you get the right one for those locations where you have three-way light switches. The third thing that we're going to talk about is junction box depth. So I have a metal junction box here. You may have a metal junction box or a plastic junction box, depending on where you're living. But if you are building a new home and considering smart light switches or remodeling and considering smart light switches, I recommend that you use deep electrical boxes. And the reason why is because smart switches take up a lot more depth than a standard light switch, okay? You can see on this smart switch, it is huge in comparison to this standard on off switch, right? So when you take a look at them, you gotta understand that all these extra wires in that depth can make it very difficult to fit this smart light switch in this box. So having a deeper box makes that much easier. Now on single light switches in a single box, not such a big deal. You can typically fit any smart light switch you want in there. But when you get to a light switch box where you may have three or four light switches all in the same junction box, it can get pretty tight to get all the wiring in that box with all the large volume of smart light switches and the wiring coming in and out and going to the light fixtures it can be pretty hard to get that wire and the electrical switch into the box and get everything to fit nice and flush and look good on your wall. So when you are considering remodeling or building a new home, make sure that you have deep junction boxes. It's also a good idea to check and just look and see what junction boxes you have in your house and determine if they're going to be able to fit every single type of smart switch. Even between smart switches, what you'll find is there is a significant variability in depth of that smart light switch, and some of them may have fewer wires or may have less depth, which makes it a little bit easier to install a shallower smart light switch than a deeper light switch. So it's something to consider, and I would recommend just taking a look at one of your electrical boxes and seeing how much room you have in there to fit one of these in there. There's a lot of little tricks you can use to fold the wires back and get these smart light switches in there, but it is much easier just to have a large electrical junction box when you're building it or remodeling, and it doesn't really cost anything if you're building new. Just tell the electrician you want deeper boxes, and it will make their job a lot easier and it will make it much easier to install a smart light switch in the future. Now you can install smart light switches in shallow junction boxes. It's just going to take you more time and you may need to use something that has a smaller profile like this Lutron Cassetta light switch. The fourth thing that we're gonna talk about is how smart light switches are controlled. There are a couple different ways that smart light switches connect to the internet so that you can control them with your phone or a voice assistant. Some are connected with Wi-Fi, others with Z-Wave or Zigbee, which are home automation protocols. But for the most part, the vast majority of smart light switches just connect to your Wi-Fi router. The advantage of a smart Wi-Fi light switch is that it connects directly to the router and there's no intermediary hub or box that you need to connect that smart light switch. So this uh, Leviton light switch we have right here, this just connects right to your Wi-Fi network. And if you need to extend the signal in your Wi-Fi network, you just get another hub or another extender uh, if you're using Google, Google Wi-Fi or Eero or one of those Wi-Fi systems that uses a hub. This light switch also just uses standard Wi-Fi connection, no hub required. And as we mentioned before, 
this Lutron one does require a hub because it does not operate on Wi-Fi. It operates on a proprietary RF frequency that is proprietary to Lutron. So it requires that hub to convert those signals that are proprietary into Wi-Fi commands or internet commands that can then be controlled from your phone. Now, another type of light switch is this Z-Wave light switch. And these also require a home automation hub. The advantage of Z-Wave is that it is a repeating network, so each Z-Wave device will actually broadcast and communicate with other Z-Wave devices in your network. However, the disadvantage is that it requires a extra hub to operate, and those hubs all have software and firmware and things that need to be updated constantly to make sure that these things continue to work if you have certain manufacturers. Now, there are other hubs that don't require constant updating, but you are reliant on that hub to work in order for this Z-Way switch to work. As with a Wi-Fi light switch, you are not requiring any other hub to work, just your Wi-Fi router to work. So that's kind of a summary of the ways that these can connect and work in your home. The fifth thing that is important to consider before you get a smart light switch is voice assistant compatibility. I find that I most commonly use a voice assistant to turn on and off my smart lighting in my home because it's just the easiest way to control my lighting. If I'm laying in bed, I can say, Alexa, turn on the lights, or I can walk through my house and say, Alexa, turn on the living room lights. It's really the feature that I enjoy the most about smart lighting. So when picking a smart light switch, you should pick a smart light switch that will work with your favorite vert voice assistant. Now, what's great about it is most manufacturers make smart light switches that are both compatible or compatible with both Alexa and Google Home. And there are some light switch manufacturers that make smart light switches that are compatible with Google Home, Alexa, and Siri. For those of you that are HomeKit fans, and want to use Siri to control your lighting, it's really important that you get a smart light switch that is HomeKit compatible. We'll include a link to HomeKit compatible light switches below, but it is a consideration. You don't wanna outfit your entire home with light switches that aren't compatible with your favorite voice assistant. And since the vast majority are compatible with Google Home and Alexa, you're probably good there. But if you are a HomeKit fan and really want your smart light switches to be directly controlled with Siri, you need to take an extra effort and step to make sure your smart light switches are compatible with Siri. Now, I find that because I have voice assistants placed throughout the home, I don't necessarily use Siri to control my lighting but not everybody takes that approach. If you use your iPhone primarily for voice commands and that's how you wanna control your system, you wanna make sure that you get one of those. And there are a lot fewer smart light switches that are compatible with Apple HomeKit and Siri than there are light switches that are compatible with Google Home and Alexa, which is more of the standard for any of the Wi-Fi smart light switches out there on the market. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to select a smart light switch. Please go ahead and put the comments below or questions you have about smart lighting. Give us a thumbs up, like this page, subscribe. And if you wanna support us, click on any of the links below or subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.